Good morning, Senator. Good morning. Good morning. So China's upset with us, calling us a rogue nation, saying this is theft, us trying to buy that company or Microsoft trying to buy it. Microsoft's one of the few that want, want to buy it or interested in buying it. I know you're sending a letter to Microsoft today. Tell us about it. Well, it's not so clear to me that this is a good deal for the United States of America. I mean, Microsoft buying TikTok, I'm not sure what that means exactly. I mean, does that mean that Microsoft is going to make sure that there is absolutely no Chinese involvement from the Chinese parent company, ByteDance, in this Microsoft deal? I mean, are they going to rebuild TikTok? Are they going to make sure that they have total control? I I'm not clear on any of that. It looks to me like Microsoft is only getting a portion of the company and that the Chinese parent company is going to continue to maintain some sort of access maybe share the platform, share the data. None of that's acceptable, and we've got to protect Americans here and Americans' data security. Is there any proof that this is more than just a game? I, I, I think that this is, listen, I mean, TikTok is a platform that is basically a Trojan horse for the Chinese government. They're able to scoop up all of our data. I mean, if you use TikTok, here's the problem. They're, they're monitoring your keystrokes. They're monitoring your contact list. They're looking, of course, at the videos you post. They're also maybe accessing the emails that you send, your search history, all of it. So we got to make sure that that data, Americans' personal info, stays in the United States of America. I don't want China to have any access to it. By the way, why should China make any profit on the sale of TikTok. I mean, they've been using this to spy on us. Why should they be profiting off of it? So I've got a lot of questions here. So Senator, should TikTok be banned? I mean, is that your stance? Forget the Microsoft deal, end it all together? I think that unless, Brian, we can, we can make absolutely sure that there is total separation between China and TikTok, then yeah, it ought to be banned. I mean, unless we can absolutely see and guarantee that China is not having getting some backdoor to TikTok, they're not running it on the slide, then I think that, yeah, it ought to be bad. Let's talk about uh, corona relief packages. Um, the latest ones have been rejected, but both sides can't agree. Uh, Congressman Lance Gooden, who is a Republican out of Texas, this was his tweet. He said, with, with $600 extra unemployment expired, which happened last Friday, he says, business owners in my district tell me this week is the first week that they have had all of their employees show up. So is a stimulus package even needed? Well, I mean, here's the deal. It's not, it's not a surprise that you have people who are, who are trying to get work now when the unemployment levels that have been forcing them to choose, unemployment insurance levels, have been forcing folks to choose between going back to work or actually getting unemployment benefits. I mean, that was dumb policy to begin with. My view is, is that whatever the level we set unemployment benefits at, people ought to be able to take at least some of that benefit with them back to work. I mean, why would you make people choose between getting the support they need if they're out of a job and actually going and looking for a job? I mean, we want people to go back to work. And by the way, people on the unemployment line, they want to work. I mean, nobody wants to be unemployed. And yet the policy that we've had for months has basically forced people to choose. So that needs to end. I'll just say this on the state of the, of the negotiations. I don't know where the Democrats are. It's not clear to me that they actually want to do anything uh, about any further relief. But my view is this. Any further relief by Congress has got to focus on jobs. It's got to focus on getting people back to work. It's got to focus on getting businesses reopened and getting folks their job security back. Senator, I'll tell you right now, uh, both sides pledged to get something done by the end of the week. The rescue package for the Democrats, $3.4 uh, trillion. That's what Nancy Pelosi says she's stuck on. You guys entered $1 trillion, and Mitch McConnell's not negotiating at all. It's Mark Meadows, Senator Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, and uh, Secretary of Treasury Mnuchin. How do you see this playing out? Because there's a lot of Republicans in tough Senate races who really believe they need something to emerge from this rescue package if they're going to win re-election. Yeah, it's not clear to me right now that uh, the Democrats even want to, to strike a deal. I mean, what we've seen is a lot of, of stringing this along, ever-shifting goalposts in negotiation. I can tell you right now, there's no way I'm voting for three-plus trillion dollars of bailout money for blue states, of, of spending on special interest lobbyist projects. I mean, forget it. That's not going to help but anybody. But Missouri is hurting with this virus. On jobs. But Missouri is hurting with this virus. Oh, what does Missouri need? Yeah, what, what Missouri needs is jobs. I mean, what we've got to do is get people back to work. Our unemployment numbers are too high, thanks to those government lockdowns. Uh, we've got way too many people who are out of work. We've got to get people working again. We've got to get them back on the job. We've got to get the economy reopened. That's what we ought to be focused on. That's not what the Democrats are focused on. Josh Hawley, Republican from Missouri, thank you very much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it.
Thank you.